Hey guys, this is Jordan, aka Awkwardness is Awesomeness, and I am starting a new series called Girl Talk. And basically, what I'm going to do is do some little videos that can help girls like me and whoever you are around the world with any problems that they have, because I have friends and stuff that this would probably help. So, um, I'm going to do a disclaimer. I have never had a boyfriend, I've never been on a date, I've never been kissed, never had sex. So basically all the stuff is taken from my friends' experiences and how they told me and married couples. Okay. Um, some things that you can look forward to on Girl Talk is fashion, sex talk, acne, makeup tips, dangers, warnings and hints about bad relationships, modesty, and much more. Um, today I'm going to talk about dating, and basically what I'm going to say is whether or not you're 11 or 79, some of these tips can be applied in any circumstance. Um, I'm going to say this right now, you don't have to date right away. Just because every girl in 4th grade is dating right now does not mean that you have to, or that you need to necessarily. It's a situation to situation uh thing thing method situation to situation method um i'm also going to say not everyone is dating just because some people seem like they're dating and it seems like everybody in school's dating everybody in your town's dating everybody everywhere is dating does not mean that everybody's dating i am an example of that um I'm also going to say not every boy is dateable just because he's cute and just because he seems like a good person does not mean that he's dateable. It really just depends on the situation and the guy and you and uh, what level you guys are on. Uh, I'm also going to say that friendship is almost always a good foundation to everything. You may think it's weird, friend zone, all that stuff. No, it's much better in most circumstances to be friends with a guy before you date then to just be like oh you're cute okay i'm gonna date you <laughs> yeah a lot of marriages lack friendship and that's why you see so much divorce and stuff like that um also i'm going to say be yourself there is not any guy that I know that would like it if a girl was not their their self. There's not any girls that I know that would hate it if a guy was not being himself. So it's basically applicable. Blah, 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 blah. You can apply it to everything. There we go. That's much better to say. Um, I'm gonna give you guys some tips because I do have to say it is not a good idea to just date around to figure out what you like. Um, that's most of the time how people get hurt, not saying all the time because there are situations where it's not, but it does lead to people getting hurt, but dating in general leads to people getting hurt, so you can't really stop it. Um, my first thing is make a list about, of 10 to 15, uh, attributes, physical features, or anything that you like in a guy. Um, I have a list myself of some things and I'm going to share it with you guys. Uh, I like nice hair. That's my phys one of my physicals. I like it to be curly, it could be straight, it could be fluffy, but if it's nice and I can run my hands through it without the guy going, <sighs> um, I am a happy camper. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it when they dress nice and whatever is their style. I mean, it could be jeans and t-shirt, it could be tank tops, it could be sweater vests and polos or anything like that. But like, if I would like cleanliness, that's basically what I'm getting at. If you're going to throw on a stained, ripped up shirt, it's just kind of, you know, I just don't like that. No. Um, like colored eyes. I really like blue and green and gray eyes. Um, but 
the thing with these physical stuff, it really depends on the person. It really is a situation to situation uh, attributes with people. I've liked people that totally didn't fit anything that matched whatever I list down here. It really just depends. Um, I like it when they're not scrawny. But I do not like it when they're overly fat. But like I said, that's a situation to situation thing. It really just depends on what's going on at the time. And all these factors. That's the hard part about dating. Factors. There's all these factors. Okay, some personality stuff that I like is they like to have good conversations. I mean, if we can talk about politics, really weird, I know. But I like talking about politics. If we can talk about politics, I will be a happy camper. Uh, controversies, I will be a happy camper. Hi, Mom. I'm Hi, doing Joe. a video. Thanks for the charger, Mom. Oh, awkward. Anywho, um, yeah, good conversations. I like good conversations. If we can have a good conversation if you're on my A-list. Um, if they enjoy music, you like, mm -mm, you don't understand how much I love music. Music, okay. Uh, they enjoy movies. Oh, I love movies so much. If I could spend a lot of money and just watch movies all the time, um, uh, yeah, I'd be a happy camper, but you know, life's not easy, so I can't go to the movie theater all the time, which sucks, because I really want to see Catching Fire, because I miss other movies that I want to see. <laughs> okay, uh, a guy who respects me, that's a big one, hopefully that's on every girl thing, because even if you feel like you don't, you're not worth it, no guy should respect you, a guy respects you, needs to respect you anyway. It's just, their mama should have taught them right. Or whoever. You just need to respect. Even if you don't, you're, you didn't get taught. You just, they need to respect you. That's pretty much it. Um. Ah. Oh. Knows when to be serious and when to have fun. Oh my goodness. You, like, people, when you're having a bunch of fun and they're just, I'm just like, come on now, have fun. But then there's the people where you're trying to be serious and you're like, and they're like, <laughs> I'm like, be serious. Please just be serious. That's about pet peeve. So, if you make a list like that, I want, I'm not going to say dating will be easier. I'm not even going to be saying finding the person that even fits that list will be easier because it won't. Trust me. But it helps you get set up like, not really a standard, but like a radar. There we go. Like a radar for guys who fit. But the thing is, Every, all of this will change at some point. I don't mind it. When I was like 11, 13, that age range, I was like, I'm going to date an emo guy with piercings and with eyeliner. And don't get me wrong, I totally would love to do that still. I mean, whew, that'd be cool. But I've realized that not, there's not a lot of guys that dress like people on, um, Google images and the cartoons. So you gotta kinda you gotta kinda work with it. So everything in your list will change. Everything will be modified. You'll realize, oh, I don't really like that attribute. Never mind and cross it off the list. I've done it millions of times. It's not supposed to be discouraging. It might be discouraging, but it's not supposed to be. Um I'm thinking, what else do I need to say? Oh. What I'm going to say is this. People do not fit in boxes. So do not take this 
this list or whatever that you have and turn it into a box that you have to find the guy to fit into. He's weird, okay? Because he might be a circle and be a perfectly okay person, but you're trying to fit him into the square. Be kind of lenient. Be open to new ideas. If you're not open to new ideas, you never know what might happen or anything. And my hair's sticking away. Okay. So, I'm going to leave you guys. I hope that in some way this helps you because I know I know okay it hasn't helped me per se but you know I live in a really small town where every guy and their dog is the same so I'm and I'm not joking because they've been raised around each other so they're all the same in some ways so once I move to college and whatnot and get some diversity in my life I will be a-okay but I hope this helps you guys, and I hope I see you guys next time. I will probably talk about fashion next time. Because I love clothing. You should add a clothing. Okay, so, adios. See you guys later.